to mention the name Ken Hovind. Maybe because if they mention that name, uh, he, you know, here's the deal. <laughs> a long time ago when I uh, was working as an engineer, right? I worked for an engineer for a Fortune 500 company, and we were doing technical things. And I worked with a man uh, for nearly eight years. And every morning we'd meet at 7 o'clock in the morning, and we would begin our day, and we would work in the lab, and uh, we would go through processes and procedures and upgrade firmware and go through technical processes. And as we go through technical processes, there's only one right way to do it. I mean, uh, if you do it the wrong way, it simply doesn't work. So there's very little discussion about right and wrong, right? Because if you don't do it the right way in a technical environment, it doesn't work, right? But I remember uh, after eight years and I, I got there early in the morning and we were in the break room having our coffee and the subject of the NDAA came up and it was George Bush was president at the time and he said, you know, we're, we're in this war on terror and we got to stop the war on terror and we got to get the bad guys and he made the comment, well, I don't say anything bad on my phone calls so I don't care if they listen or not, what's it matter to me? And at the time, I didn't think much about what he said but I just knew something was wrong with that because it's not right to so easily give up our rights and let the government listen in on our, our phone calls, monitor our whereabouts. Uh, monitor our website visits, uh, who we communicate with. I just knew there was something wrong with it, but it's like that seemed to be the prevailing attitude of everyone in the office. Well, if the government wants to listen in on our phone calls, we're not saying anything that we care to hide, so what's it matter? Well, let me tell you something. When the government is full of evil, wicked, reprobate, degenerate um, bastards, then you don't want them listening on your phone calls because if you say anything that can be misconstrued, they'll use it against you and they'll use it to take out their political adversaries. Now you gotta ask yourself, why is everyone talking about structure and the IRS is coming out and apologizing for misapplying structuring laws. We got this guy who ran the mom and pop uh, store and they took over $100,000 of his money and that was mainstream news. But nobody wants to talk about Ken Hovind. Well anyway, I wake up this morning and let me play you guys this video right here. We'll make it uh, hopefully this all the technical aspect. We're gonna do a little redneck style. I'm just gonna play, put, point a camera at the computer. Listen to this. Listen. The former Speaker of the House once second in. 